coming soon, depending on where you live, places to buy medical marijuana. The Ohio Board of Pharmacy today awarded licenses for medical marijuana dispensaries, 56 statewide, including seven in our area. And of those, two are in walking distance of each other. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us from Kennedy Avenue Live. Jeff? Well, good evening. It is kind of odd that, uh, odd to me anyway, that two of the dispensaries, one of which is right here on Kennedy Avenue in Madisonville, you can see it's not available anymore, is a stone's throw, or I'll throw the one joke at every stone throw from one of the others, which is really no more than about a mile away. But let's get specific now where they are and let's go to the map so we can show you what's coming in our area because of the state's new legislation. Hamilton County was allocated three licenses and was given three separate operators. One in Madisonville on Kennedy Avenue, that's where I am now. One on Hart in Hartwell on Vine Street and one in Columbia Township on Ridge. Those are the three in Hamilton County. The one in Ridge is like a mile from here max. Elsewhere in our area, dispensaries are awarded to applicants from Seven Mile and from Monroe in Butler County, from Lebanon in Warren County, and from Hillsboro in Highland County. Ohio's medical marijuana program does not allow the sale of pot, which can be rolled and smoked. The dispensaries will carry things like oils, pills, and creams. The program is supposed to be up and running everywhere in Ohio September 8th, but that seems unlikely as there are separate licensing awards for dispensaries, growers, product manufacturers, and testing labs. Medical pot in Ohio is restricted to those with 21 diagnosed specific illnesses. You'll need a doctor's note, but it's not technically a prescription because marijuana is still illegal federally, even if medical pot is okay in certain states. That's why you'll have to get this drug at a dispensary and not at a drug store. The State Board of Pharmacy received nearly 400 dispensary applications. From day one, we've, we've collectively wanted the best applications and the best applicants. And um, the application process uh, we built. We Commerce accepted paper applications knowing that the uh, dispensaries were likely to to include uh, significantly more applicants we chose to operate an online application process now you may be wondering why hamilton county with 800,000 people got two of its three dispensaries within walking distance i, I kind of wondered too there are or were 17 different applicants for licenses around the county and the system was a scoring system. The state looked at financing, marketing. Uh, there was a bonus if you had a minority component in the uh, management or the ownership. And then they scored the applicants. And the three highest, in this case, were the ones that got the awards. Did the out-of-town consultants look at the fact that these are a mile apart? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, it's not like they're next door. It's kind of a hike. you got to go a long way around I-71 to get to it. But they are literally right near each other we got three in the whole county and two of them are you know very very close to each other live on kennedy avenue jeff hirsch local 12 news back to you so i think i heard you say this is not pot you smoke so is medical marijuana not. is not a joint absolutely not in ohio maybe in some other states it can be but no not in ohio it's not smokable it's not rollable. You don't go in there into the dispensaries when they open up and buy that type of product, which you can buy, for example, in states like Colorado, but not here. Fascinating. I think I didn't know that. I appreciate right. that.